Hi friends, it's Lauren Taylor. Thanks for joining me in my craft room today. I'm really excited because scrapbook.com gifted me the Sizzix Thinlets with Tim Holtz from the Vault Collection. So I have the Vault Festive Wreath, Vault Holiday Classic, Vault Winter Wishes, Vault Seasonal Sketch, and Vault Christmas Magic. So all five of these kind of vault releases. I will have a link down below where you can get them at scrapbook.com individually as well as a bundle. And I used some white mixed media cardstock and gold holographic mirror paper from scrapbook.com and did a ton of die cutting of just some of my favorite images from all of the dies. I will use a little bit of something from each of them except for the Christmas magic set in today's card. So I'm going to lay everything out. I know I need to do a little bit of layering with some of the die cut pieces, but I wanted to pick a background to build a fun festive holiday wreath on. So I grabbed the new Snow Days A2 pattern paper and I really liked this pink and mint scallop design. So I'm gonna use that to be my background for today's card. I have the really large snowflake from the Winter Wishes set and I cut it in half so I can glue half of it on the left side of my background and the other half on the right. I'm going at kind of an angle across my card from the top left to the top right when I'm designing and adding all of the die cuts to the card. So I'm going to start that with adding half of these snowflakes. Now I love when there is a white border on my card so I'm taking this A2 paper and I'm trimming it to be just slightly smaller so four by five and a quarter so I have a bit of a white border when I attach this card front to my card base later on in the video. So I'm adding that snowflake like I said to the top left and here I am adding glue to the snowflake on the top right. After I finish that I'm going to add in my gold metallic wreath and I'm going to just center that onto the card overlapping the two snowflakes. These are going to be kind of the big items and I want them more in the back and I will layer on my images around the wreath. I did die cut the peace sentiment from the holiday classic and I also die cut the Santa with the reindeer from the Christmas magic set but they both ended up just kind of overpowering um, well more like they are both so big they get kind of lost or they overpower depending on how I tried to layer everything on so I will not end up using those I'm going to switch directions when I finish adding all of my die cuts. I think some of my favorite images are from the seasonal sketch set. There's a really great alphabet die set in there, but I really love these layered poinsettia and holly leaves. I just think they look so pretty, especially here in the gold and white. I just think they look so magical and they're my favorite from everything. So those are going to be kind of the stars of my card. So I layered my poinsettia together and I'm going to place that in the upper left hand corner and then I will use a magnet. My glass board is magnetic so that will just apply some pressure for me while I am gluing together the holly leaves and I'll put that in the bottom right hand corner. So again trying to create a look from top left to bottom right on my card. Once I know where I'm going to place the holly leaves I'll go ahead and add glue and glue them down. I'm not adding glue completely behind all of my images. I'm gluing more towards the center of everything. So I still have some dimension because these dies will pop up off the card front naturally since they're not glued down. I have a lot of pieces from the festive wreath die set that I cut in white cardstock and I did everything twice with these different embellishment leaves and decorations. So I'm tucking in one of each behind the poinsettia and then one of each behind the holly leaves as well. I also have the berries that have a layered look to them as well. So glued those two layers together. Using my tweezers really helps with these tiny little dies, making sure that I can hold on to them while adding glue. Here I am tucking in all the rest of my wreath pieces on the bottom right hand corner now that the top left was done. I really just love this look of the white and gold. I thought about putting everything on a white background as well, but I kind of like the pop of color from this really cute new paper pad from scrapbook.com. I think it just gives a lot of fun 
and ties in that more pastel Christmas color. So I really like that I went this way, but I think this would also look really pretty white on white. I think that would give a really elegant classic look. I also die cut the bell from the Vault Holiday Classic die set and I'm taking the bow from the festive wreath and I'm going to layer those together. I want my little bow here to sit on top of the bell. I just think that adds a fun little touch and it looks like it's going to be tied onto my wreath. Here I am going back and forth trying to decide if I'm going to use my Santa or my peace sentiment and I just didn't like it. I think they again would either overpower or get lost. So I'm going to save these die cuts. They're perfectly fine and great for a future card. So I'm just going to tuck them into my die envelopes and again just save them for a future project. So for a sentiment, I'm going to grab some scrapbook.com exclusive products and I'm going to do some heat embossing. So let me get this bell added onto my wreath so I can be done with my wreath assembly and just finish off with adding my sentiment and um, I'm going to bring in some pops of color as well. So I'm tucking in that bell underneath my poinsettia trying to look like it's layered and tucked in there into the flower and I'm going to do my sentiment um, more towards the top. So at first I thought maybe I would stamp a sentiment on another pattern paper, but I just really like the white on top of the pattern paper. So I'm going to grab a scrap piece of white cardstock and I'm going to choose the Merry and Bright, just that very simple sentiment from the Wonder and Delight stamp set. So I'm going to open these products up. I pulled out my stamp and the coordinating kind of sentiment strip die. And I have my Misty here to be able to stamp my image. I'm going to, or not image, sorry, sentiment. I'm going to use some anti-static powder first because again, I'm going to emboss. So I'll take my clear embossing ink and I'm going to stamp it twice. Since it's really hard to see, it's clear on white paper. I'm stamping it twice with the help of my Misty to make sure I have a nice clean stamped sentiment. I'm going to use some ultra fine gold embossing powder and then once I'm happy with the coverage of the embossing powder I'll grab my heat gun, warm it up, and melt that powder down to have my embossed sentiment. I did it in gold of course to match the rest of the card and I'll go ahead and use that coordinating die to cut around my sentiment. Once I have that, I thought I would use some foam adhesive to pop it up just so it wouldn't get lost. And there already is a lot of dimension with the way I glued down all of my die cuts. So I thought using some foam adhesive, this is a two millimeter foam strip from scrapbook.com, would help make that sentiment really stand out on the card. I'm going to tuck it into this open area on my frame or my wreath just so it feels very framed and very balanced. I have my top folding white cardstock card. It's A2 in size and I'll grab my adhesive uh, tape dispenser and I'm going to add adhesive to the back of this panel. I'm going to add lots of coverage. My wreath makes the card front a bit heavy so I want to make sure it really sticks onto my card base. After that, I wanted to add a few pops of color, so I'm going to grab Honeydew Gloss and Soft Pink in Pearl, and I'm going to add these just around the wreath. I'm going to try to follow again that left, upper left to bottom right with all of my pops of color. Once I'm happy with how many I have in both the Honeydew and the Soft Pink, I'm going to tap the back because I, when you add pops of color, it sometimes gives a Hershey Kiss look, and when you tap the back, it domes it out so it looks more like an enamel dot. Here's a final look at how my Merry and Bright wreath turned out. Again, I'm using the Christmas Vault Tim Holtz with Sizzix Thin Lit Dyes. Five amazing sets that you can choose from. I hope this card brings you some inspiration with these die sets. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!